and I'm Catherine. We're computer science majors at Boston University, and we're here to talk to you about the Artemis Project. Artemis is a five-week summer camp for high school girls. It was originally started at Brown University about 13 years ago. Um, I was a coordinator there two years ago, and I helped develop the curriculum and um, make these projects for high school girls. And then last year, I decided to start the program with Brown's help at Boston University for Boston Public School kids. So as part of our curriculum, we covered a bunch of different computer science topics, such as robotics. We did some projects with the LEGO Mindstorms, and we also did some web design. So we taught them the basics of HTML and CSS. And we also did some soldering. We did um, a little uh, kit called the Minipov 3, and what they did was they soldered it together and program programmed it to say a little message. And um, as part of our curriculum, we also decided to teach them a week of Python, and that's why we're here. Um, and just a, a bit more about field trips, we decided to keep this program interesting for girls because women are underrepresented in computer science, so we spiked their interest by going on different field trips such as Museum of Science, we went to visit the Broad Institute, IBM, we went to Microsoft um, to get them really excited and to teach them that computer science is not about programming and sitting in a computer and being alone by yourself and it's a lot of teamwork, it's a lot of problem solving and a lot of creativity. Um, so on to Python, we used Colorwall, a graphical representation as you see here to introduce different control structures such as loops, um, while loops, for loops, and if-else statements. So we thought uh, color wall would be an intuitive way for a beginner to get a sense of these control structures, but it turned out that they picked it up a lot better when they were presented with numerical examples. So like for int i equals zero, while i is less than 10, so because they know that zero to 10, so they made that connection a little bit better. Color wall was effective in reinforcing the statements and allowing the girls to express their creativity. We broke up the exercises into bite-sized goals. So first that they did was that we had them color in this wall. And that was a big challenge because it actually involves nested for loops. Um, so to color in each square in a row involves a for loop and to color this whole wall inv involves nested for loop. And the next one is if else statements. If the sum of the row and column is even, then you color it in one number, and if it's odd, you color it in another. It's a very nice way to have them visualize what they code and look at you know, the different effects. Um, do you want to talk about other places that you're doing this, or is this just in Boston? Currently, um, this program is at Brown University and Boston University. Um, however, this year we are trying to expand to Columbia. We have a coordinator, so four coordinators coordinate this program. We had five because it was the first year that we started, so we decided to have one more person on board. Um, next year we're going to have one more coordinator from Columbia and ho in hope that she will start it the following year in New York. If people at PyCon want to help out, is there some way they can contact you and help do expand this in other cities? Um, if anyone at PyCon would like to help us, um, please contact us at artemis at bu.edu. Um, we would love to talk to you about your experiences teaching and learning Python and different ways to involve the Python community. Thank you. Thank you.